Yeah, what is up, YouTube? You see me, Simone Gamer, bringing you a little episode of Arc Survival Evolved on the Scorched Earth map on the Ethos modded server. I've been playing this since the release in the last two days. Trying to get myself around all the map, worked out a few places, got my first Wyvern. Let's just do a take a look at that. Absolute beast to try and steal one of the eggs from the Wyvern Trench. Died, what? Well, must have died about six, seven times to start with. But we got him, and it was worth it for the size of the, uh, the level of the egg we got. And here's a low little one that I snuck in to get as well. A little poison Wyvern. And this is our electric one. <coughs> also, I've been walking around, just taming a few little things. Got a little, couple of Morella tops, yeah. Let's get a deal of water, which is good because they hold an absolutely amazing amount of water, so <coughs> which is needed. A couple of raptors, and yeah. our first plant species. Why? I haven't seen it in action yet, so I do not know what actually happens with it. Here's your admin on our server, Barry Art King. <coughs> you don't forget to check out his. YouTube channel as well and subscribe. He will be bringing you a lot of building uh, videos on the Scorched Earth while I'll be doing a lot of taming videos. So, this is our base to start with. So, let's see, let's have about going to find something to tame. So, once I get there, I'll give you a. I'll be back once you find something to tame. <coughs> and we're back. Uh, considering I haven't got an anchor, uh, anchor yet, I thought I've just come across one. Uh, let's check the level out. <coughs> oh, it's level 374. Nice, let's go and tame it then. Uh, on our server, we have got a couple of mods already Structure Plus, Pillar Plus, <coughs> uh, Meat Spoiler. Jones, egg and poop, an incubator collector, <coughs> a couple of other things which I cannot quite remember. Oh, the Sevens Trank Kit, and the Sevens Trank Kit is what I'm actually going to be using today. <coughs> so, absolutely love this mod. <coughs> Each bullet does 6,000 tour for over 3 seconds, and as you can see, straight down. So we have got the timing up set up to 30 times because we are running plus 34 difficulty mod and while dinos are up to level 1080 and max player level is 301. We have got 50 slots on the server so if you do ever decide to come and join us have a bit of fun. We have a few people on the server already. <coughs> Just uh, check the link in uh, the description below. <coughs> so while well, this is timing see where we are as you can see here it's 70 52 68 52 ish <laughs> another thing that I love about this sevens trank kit never need narcotics because the damage that the sniper does is about hardly anything so if he's losing tuple shot it only damaging for six hardly lose any levels So let's have a little look around, show you a little bit of harvesting, what you can get from so and so. So if you come over here, as you can see, you can get all your fibre and all your berries. These purple plants here, you get a lot of silk from them. <laughs> silk is what you need to be able to craft some of the uh, sand gear and whatnot. One of the as per usual. Or you use your resource. Now there is a couple of things on this map that are not on here. So far I have not come across any rare flowers. 
which is strange because there is kangaroos on here and we all know you need the flowers for a perfect time on the kangaroos. So I'm imagining they'll add some rare flowers at the next update. <coughs> also, as we are using a couple of mods, um, there's no sea on here so there is no anglerfish so you can't get any angler gel. But anyone that comes onto the server, we give a welcome package of it. We sort them out with about 1k of angler gel. Uh, they have to do what you want with it. Try and save it if you want. <coughs> but we will give you that to start with. Also, another good thing that I do like about this is they put sap <coughs> into the normal trees. So no more waiting up in the redwood for ages to get your sap. You can actually get it from the trees now. Another little thing is these rocks. Now you're getting sand, and you need the sand to do the, to mix with cactus sap, which I'll show you in a moment what that's about. Let's just try and find a cactus. Also, there is no pterodons on this pterodons on this map yet, um, but I'm sure they will come. Is that cactus? No, this one's cactus. Let's see, you get the cactus sap and thatch from them. So, for the more cactus sap, you want to be using your hatchet. So, let's just, while we're doing this, let's just take a look at the engrams. <laughs> How are you doing, buddy? We're not going to be a long time, so while we're waiting, let's take a look at our engrams. <laughs> also, we have got grow your own resources that's another one and bulk crafters so we've got the bulk fuel bulk fabricator and whatnot <coughs> so if we go over to the engrams we can see now that i'm art prime engrams that's all you know so if we take that off now here's all the new school stuff tent definitely recommend getting a tent as soon as you start <coughs> as soon as you can <coughs> as you will need that if you get caught in a sandstorm and they are very brutal also, you get heat stroke, and what what happens is you'll start to die, and you won't be able to see properly on the screen and whatnot. Boomerangs, which are just amazing, they're your starting knockout weapon, a bit like the uh, slingshot was on normal. A whip keeps furs at bay. Water well, as you go around the map, you will find a little what's the word like water springs. Um, basically, if you go over there and slap the well on it, leave it for a couple of hours, go back to it, it'll be full of water, and you can put your water jugs and water skins inside it, and it'll fill it up. <laughs> From what I've heard, if you do take all the water out, you won't get no more again, so always try and leave a bit of water in it. <coughs> Here's the Morella Top Saddle for the new uh, dino, which at the moment you definitely want to aim to tame straight away because they also are very good at gathering berries, thatch and stuff like that. Then what I've built, I've built out of the adobe foundations or the adobe crafting. <coughs> Personally, <laughs> I'm not a lover of it. It's stone's a lot cheaper and I think stone looks actually a bit better. <laughs> um, it's very expensive to make the adobe Structures because it does require clay and it takes a lot of sand and a lot of cactus sap to make a clay. <coughs> Put some, yes, a uh, little, yep, preserving salts. <coughs> now, I'm not too sure how this works, but obviously it preserves food, but I don't know if that's going to work kind of like a preserving bean or something instead of you just put that into it or something. Haven't come across that yet. 
oil jar. There is little bugs on the island. Uh, they can't be tamed, but you've got an oil bug and water bug. <coughs> you can walk up to them, press E on them, and you'll either drink water or get oil, and they'll fly off. If you kill one, you can loot it as well, but obviously it won't fly off and you won't be able to use it again. <coughs> well, they're good if you're out and about and you're a bit desperate. And as your gear, I mean, flak is going to be a no-go, no, 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 on this map. Unless you've got your fortitude literally up to max. Uh, I would definitely stay away from your flak and uh, <coughs> pelt definitely won't need. It'll be too hot for you. So we've got this one. The desert goggles hat, the desert cloth gloves, the boots. <coughs> and they should be it. Uh, pants and shirt. Also, we've got a chainsaw, which I haven't made one yet, so I'm not too sure. Wind turbine. That basically gives you free, uh, power as your generator. Mantis arrow. I've come across a couple of mantis, not tamed one yet. Cluster grenade. Splits into several explosive fragments. Flame thrower again, haven't used that yet. And ammo. And, oh, I didn't even notice this one. We've got a rocket homing missile. Ooh, that looks pretty nice. And obviously an oil pump. <coughs> There's supposed to be oil zones on the map. I haven't come across one just yet myself. But I'm sure we will. So yeah, so that's all your new engrams for <coughs> Scorched Earth. <coughs> How we doing? And like I say, with this 7 sniper, I thought it would give you a quick show. So, <coughs> as you can see, <coughs> Torpa, 985. One shot. I lost one level on it, but it's it's worth it. <laughs> and there we go, it's gone straight back up. <coughs> they are expensive to make the bullets because they do take a lot of narc to make them. <laughs> but like I say, uh, we are on a thirty times time, so it's not too bad. <coughs> Actually, while we're around, let's just have a little look around a bit more. And see, we have got four obelisks in here. As you can see, lots of great places for base building, lots of flat surface. <laughs> Little Dodarchius, Parasaurs. <coughs> What's this? <coughs> we thought we know what we need to get to some water. Now, also with these Morella tops, if you run out of water on them, it's not a problem. Just take them down to one of the watering areas and you will be able to fill them up with water. Uh, with the well, this is what I was telling you about. So you can come here, you can drink out of here. Or you can place the well down and the well will then let you actually put uh, your water skins, your water jugs into the well. And it will automatically fill them up with water. What level is this? Level 170. What was that one the last? Was that male or female? Oh, I gotta, I gotta find it now. Oh man, where was that? I lost it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Males, oh, you know what? Well, I don't know what to do. Double time here. Where was that female thank you gone? I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Where'd it go? Where did it go? You remember where it was? Oh, there we go, hiding behind the rocks, look at that. <laughs> so this is obviously a lot lower level, I believe it was, was it? Well, it is female, so let's see. Ooh, quick scoped. Oh, look at that, one shot down. Perfect. <laughs> Should be more than enough areas on there now for a while. Oh, 
also on the map. And you go and fly around, there's loads of these little, uh, <laughs> little ruins. And if you do go out into the desert, there's some really big, it's like, uh, you might have seen it in the trailer of the Scorch Surf, <laughs> where the sand bug come out of the ground. Well, that's out in the desert, and there is actually a cave in there. So you, to find some of the caves, you've got to go right out into the desert. So you go down, it's, it's absolutely full of vultures and scorpions and titan boas. <laughs> And even some wyverns. <laughs> but yeah, there is caves out there. Then they're full of mantises. Obviously, oops. Obviously, uh, caterpillars, titan boas, spiders, all the unusual stuff. Scorpions in the caves. But I do believe there's a couple of there's a. A load of new artifacts. I've already caught, got one, which is the artifact of the gatekeeper. Um, I'm not too sure how many there is, but there is a few more. And I do believe there's going to be a lot. There's a lot more to be added to this map at a later date. <coughs> right, guys. I'm going to leave it there for a few minutes and come back to you once uh, we got our anchors tame. No problem. Bye now. <coughs> And we're back. As you can see, I finally got him tamed up. I just made him follow me around to here. So let's take a look at these stats. So here we are, about 5.15 at tame mail. It's been about an hour since I've been on last. And we got 21,000 health for. 3100 stamina, 2100 oxygen, weight 1225, which isn't too bad. Many, 1120, I'm happy with that. And movement speed about 150. Come over to this one. Yeah, what's that? 13k health, 1400 stamina, 280 oxygen, only 762 weight, 428 many, and 150 movement speed. So, so not too bad in total. So now the question is trying to get them both back to base and find where my base is. So, where is it from here? Ah, I know where, exactly where it is. Right guys, I'll be back in two seconds. Let me just get these back to base and we'll be back. And we're back. Finally got on back. It just only took about 15 minutes. It was only around the corner, luckily. So, if you want me to name these anchors, or with both of them, just put the names in the comments below. And I will pick one of them that I think sees fit. <coughs> so anyway, guys, thanks for my video. Oh, I'm going to be bringing you a hell of a lot more videos over the next few days. And I'm going to be making them a hell of a lot more fun. <coughs> so... It's once again again. Peace out.